Hey everybody, Mr. Niola here and welcome back to Ark Aberration. We're back on this desolate, barren, it's not very barren, overgrown, weird world, weird and wacky world. And today is a very important day because today is the day we're going to move into our new base. That's right, I, uh, I went ahead and completed it uh, after last episode. We got to start on it. I had a bit of a play with it since then. I had a little bit of a free time over the weekend. And um, I got a little bit more done. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But today I plan to uh, move some stuff over. Move over. The, we'll pretty much do the interiors of the base. That's that's what we have set for us today. All the exteriors are pretty much done. Um, it took a little while to do. But once we had the pattern worked out. Which we pretty much sorted out last episode. Um, it was all good. It was all pretty much straightforward and self-explanatory. So if we fly just over here. You're going to find first off that we have our gates all around the base. I was going to go and build these outside walls up a little bit more, but I didn't get around to that. I think I want to make them about four high, but we haven't done that yet. But it's all good because here we have our base. It looks tiny compared to the outer border thing, but um, ignore that. That's okay. Here it is. This is what we have. This is it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's just one big room. Yeah, four walls high. No windows, no nothing. It's actually pretty barren, but once we get some stuff inside of here, it's going to be absolutely marvelous. Um, I just hope it's big enough. We've had much bigger bases in the past. I think this should be just fine. We'll find out pretty soon, I think. Uh, but today, we're going to go start transporting stuff over. Uh, we're going to see if... Yeah, I don't know. We're going we're to do the inside. It's going to be pretty fun. Um, the only thing that kind of didn't work out too symmetrical was this part here and i'm not entirely sure why so this triangle here kind of sticks out i was trying to make the same thing happen over here but i couldn't work out what was missing from it so i ended up just leaving it but uh let's go head on back over to the other base i think my roll rat's still here as well yeah he's still chilling over there um yeah he served his purpose though so it's all good uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and get our stuff. The thing is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't know if we're gonna just go and craft new versions of all of it. I don't know if we're just gonna pick up the existing stuff and carry that over. I've yet to really decide how we're gonna make that happen. So, um, I guess for the for the easy, there's, there's easy stuff and then there's slightly more complicated stuff. Um, the easy stuff would be the forges. The more complicated stuff, of course, is things like the fridge because. We only have a limited amount of time to transport this over. So we're going to start with the simple stuff. Um, we've got a lot of these little guys to, to carry across as well. We've got, we got bulb dogs and we've got glow tails and we've got feather lights. We've got, we got things everywhere around here. But um, let's let's just get onto this. I think what we should do though is draw across our charcoal. So we don't have to do that one by one. We have a lot of it now. Oh my gosh. Okay then. Pull all of that across. Um, and we've already got one of these over at the base anyway, so that isn't really a massive necessity. Um, but something that could be... There's a fight going on somewhere. Who is it? Who be attacking my base? Um, Parasa? I highly doubt the Parasa was causing any issues, guys. I don't know who it was. Someone's attacking something over here. Nope, okay. Hey, where are you guys all going? Oh, it's a Spino. It was the Spino. Oh, snap. Oh, he's coming back for more. Krabby Patty's gone to the rescue, though. Oh, this isn't this isn't good. Oh, this isn't... Okay. Um, Krabby Patty, where have you gone, buddy? Where have you gone? Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Look at him running <laughs> down the bottom of the sea. Oh, Krabby Patty, this is not the time. We got other... We got other things to be doing today. I gotta see if I can hit that Spino from all the way over here. One arrow should finish him off. Our crossbow is pretty strong. I just gotta make sure Krabby Patty doesn't die. Krabby Patty! Oh, I can't hit the Spino. I'm just wasting all of my stuff. I could just whistle him. Oh my god. You know what? Maybe I'll just take a second. And we will predict. Oh no, Spino guy's running. I think. Krabby Patty's coming back. Alright. Good Krabby Patty. Who's our good Krabby Patty? Yeah. I think the Spino still wants. No, he's swimming around in circles now. Come on, Krabby Patty. Let's get out of here. Absolute pest. Absolute. Can I not? All right, fine. You know what? It's been a while since I took you for a ride. I feel like I've been neglecting our little boy right here. So we'll take him for a bit of a... Take him for a bit of a spin. Okay, nope. Or he's just going to get stuck on everything. Look at Luckland's old base. All right. Well, that's fine. All right, my ravages are over. That was a bad idea. All good. All right. 
let's get back to you know back to business i'm gonna have to bring our air conditioners over as well but most importantly here we go you know what i don't even need all of this stuff we can just go and go bloop, bloop, bloop. what are we going here what am i missing bit of oil aha bloop. got him um we got a lot of resources in here that i don't need you know what wait why did i have this okay i don't know why i had polymer on me um buddy i don't need you to be standing on my house right now buddy you're just getting in the way you're getting in the way get out of here get out of here all right what i want to get what i need what i was thinking of doing before we got attacked that's right i wanted to learn something something for storage want to get us a vault and i'm pretty sure we have most of those resources so um hopefully we do let's have a look nope we don't what are we missing what could i possibly be missing maybe the metal the oil it's definitely the oil ah that's not ideal that is not ideal at all okay then we might need to go for an oil run at some stage but vaults are outside of our okay that's a little bit disappointing um the electrical generator what will it cost us to just get another one 25 metal 10 electronics you know what i'll take it i'll take it we'll get ourselves a whoa i don't really know what sort of cables we're gonna need but we got the generator so that's the main thing um at least then now that we've got the generator we can pretty much take the fridge across because i don't want to craft another one of these um the question is what can i drop because a lot of this stuff is going to get a little bit heavy we don't need all of this meat one stack of meat would be just fine spoiled meat mm, okay okay i guess i'll i guess i'll hold on to that we don't need the mushrooms we don't need any of the mushrooms the polymers expect uh, a bit heavy but apart from that drop you i guess i'll take you i'll drop you take the meat take okay you know what i maybe i can take all of this oh the eggs is what's gonna weigh me down the most right oh look at that weight oh i just destroyed the weight the weight is so heavy okay you know what maybe i can't carry all of this just yet maybe that stuff there will wait but what we can take is maybe our table can i take my table is there anything sitting around in here we got some spark powder great gonna need that at some stage we got a lot of narcotics we got some other stuff here all right let's go one didn't want to do that my bad i messed up but it's okay it is what it is okay um you know what i'm gonna move all of this stuff into my fabricator and i think i'm just gonna craft another fabricator because why not oh wait i can't carry anymore i can't carry anymore all right fine fine there take all of those and i just thought of something really handy about our new base location too we've actually got gas spots nearby i don't have to fly halfway across the world to get to gas so that's gonna come in handy all right sweet why why am i heavy what's weighing me down right now four eight okay spark powder no this stuff here is all one kilo a piece oh spoiled meat that's what's doing it that'd be the one all right well that's another piece that we can take with us fantastic no i break the little augmentation station ah oh, yeah dingus what are you thinking that's all right we can craft another one of them they're not overly expensive i can bring that it's just but the server's a little bit laggy right now it's kind of weird i don't know what's going on there um what else can i take these things here are pretty full and i'm quite heavy i think but on that note let's go our first trip let's go drop some of this stuff off um i actually have a list i've written on a post-it note i don't know if you can see all of that stuff basically everything that we're going to need inside of our new base i should have looked at that first but oh well it is what it is um among the list we have a smithy fabricator furnaces upgrade station we got a regular table we got the s plus crafting table thing we got a generator fridge preserving bin i think we've got most of these things eventually we're going to get ourselves an industrial forge grinder and chemical table as well um it's just i don't know if we have reached the adequate levels for those just yet i'm actually going to check right now okay let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look we unlocked the vaults and i got a feeling the chemical tables is oh here we go industrial grinder we don't have 2,000 crystal. We definitely don't have 3,200 metal. And we definitely don't have 600 oil. Okay, so we can't afford that yet. All right. Everything else should be down here. The question is, have we unlocked it? Uh, a charge lantern. Weaponized. Aha. Uh -huh. How did I miss this? Oh, we unlocked the industrial forge. Oh, I can get that now. 
I'm going to get one of them in my new base. 100% I'm going to get one of them in my new base. For the Charged Lantern. Weaponized Charged Light that d damages and stuns life forms. Placed down to ward of dangers in an area. Uses charge batteries as fuel. I don't understand. Weaponized charge light that damages and stuns life forms. I wonder if you can you, if you can use that to like really do a number on the rock drakes and stop them from kind of killing you. I guess we'll have to uh, look into that. I think we're gonna have to save up for an industrial forge, and we can also get ourselves a chemistry bench if we want to do that too. Interesting. Ah, uh, but we still got two more levels to go until we can get ourselves the basilisk saddle. I think, right? Two more levels to go. 85. It's the last thing I've got to unlock. It's the last thing I've got to unlock. We've also got the tech sleeping pod. This tech power chamber lets you rapidly recover vitals and slowly gain XP even when sleeping. You can also sleep soundly within it, protected even while on a moving platform. What? Can only be crafted at a tech replicator. I don't have one of them, but I can afford this. It's actually not that expensive. A tech railgun and a tech rock drake saddle. I don't have element though. All right, all right, all right. That's all potential stuff. That's not stuff we can really do just yet, but some exciting stuff there, that's for sure. All right, well, let's work this out. So let's get our little, um, I don't know what you want to call this, a little station here. Throw a little table in the corner. Uh, right there, we'll do. We got ourselves our mortar and pestle. In fact, I'm still a little bit heavy. We should drop some more stuff off before we uh, go any further. Okay, um, what should we, you know what? I'm gonna put these things here right here as well because a lot of the uh, a lot of the recipes a lot of this sort of stuff doubles over with spark powder and charcoal and whatnot so we may as well use that here um, plus we need an industrial forge so once we go and place that one there down it may even replace a lot of this a lot of these furnaces are these sticking out the back because I don't want that happening no nope, they're not sticking out the back good and the fourth one Okay, there we go. Our four furnaces are all down. Um, what I did want to check out, though, was I have myself some... Another one of these down here. Another two of these, where I should have been crafting a lot of narcotics. Yeah, we still got a lot of leftover uh, spoiled meat as well. But we're going to pick these two here up. In fact, can I bring this... Oh, I left, my... I left the meat in there. Can I bring this with me? This has got a lot of stuff on it. All right. Oh, my God. I'm I'm, like, super heavy right now. Like, really, really heavy. All I did was pick up two mortar and pestles. Is that really going to make all the difference? Don't really know what's... Oh, the narcotics. Yeah, that would have done it. That's that's one and a half thousand narcotics right there. Yeah, that, that would definitely weigh me down. That explains everything. All right, so I think the hardest part in all of this is going to be where we're going to place our generator. The generator is a, it's a hard one to work out. One thing we could do is place it directly underneath this place a ceiling on top of it just to box it in so that it's centralized to everything the only thing is i mean we're going to keep it close to whatever needs to be powered by it so it's going to have to sit next to a fabricator it's going to have to sit next to our refrigerator it's going to have to sit next to i think the g, -G oh, i don't even know what else runs off of it to be honest so maybe we can have that stuff over here you're gonna make me all right you're gonna you're gonna make me lock this in i don't want it to be okay fine can i just chuck it in a corner can I spin it? I don't even know what way you want this thing to be sitting, but you know what? It fits here. Why not? We'll just chuck it right here. Um, we're going to get our fridge, our fabricator. I might just craft another fabricator, though. What else did I bring with us just now? We have ourselves the upgrade station. I think I'm going to place that in one of these corners. God, we're going to run out of space really quickly. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. You know what? This, this is a good spot. I like this as a spot right here. There we go. Perfect. Up against the wall. Great. You know what? Yeah, no. We're good for we're good for room. We're not going to run out. We're not going to be running out. All right. Well, this little corner here is all coming together. In fact, before I forget, we're going to need... We don't even need these tables. I don't know why I keep crafting them. We can just place a mortar and pestle on top of this one here. But I don't know. It's the old way that we've always done these things. I like it. It's not that bad. There we go. So they're all set. Um, anything else I can place? Or do I need to make another visit to the base? All right, well, we better go back home. Um, I'm going to see how much metal we've got. In fact, while we're here, maybe I'll just go and smash some metal up. And we'll bring it over to, uh, bring it across. Oh, well, we're going to have to cook it, aren't we? All right, the crystal's back here anyways. All right, let's get some metal while we're here real quick. Um, at least then we can start... Oh, wait, no. What am I even thinking? We don't need to bring it anywhere. We can cook it right here. 
I'm having brain farts right now. I'm having massive brain farts. Either way, we need to save up 3,200 metal to get ourselves the S plus industrial forge. So we need a lot of metal, basically. Like 7,000 of it. And just like that, we've got a quarter of all the metal that we're going to need. So it's not going to take us that long. Unfortunately, though, i got no spark powder on me. So let's go back to our original base. All right, so I quickly did a bit of a, a an empty of our fabricator, I suppose. So at least we can bring this here across now. I've got a little bit of spark powder on me as well. Um, you know what? I might even bring... Oh, I don't even often carry... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can bring that across. You know what? On second thoughts, I think we're bringing our fridge across. We're going to do it. I think we can carry most of this. If anything, it might be just the eggs that are going to weigh us down. But apart from that, that's not the end of the world. We got our little rock drake. Our big old rock drake here. Um, so he can carry most of this stuff. And you know what? Maybe I'll start bringing our little pets along with us as well. All right. Oh, I'm carrying too much now. Of course, I got 100 kilos of meat. 100 kilos of eggs, among everything else. Can he still go? Oh, he can still go. All right, let's go. How did this guy get inside my base? Hey, you ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> my walls are supposed to block everybody. The first dinosaur that tries to get in just has a clear entry. Great. That's a great start. Fantastic start. Oh, well, of all the things to forget, I forgot the fridge. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okie dokie. So now we have our fridge, we have our electrical cable, and we have our little outlet here. So we should be all good. Throw you on there. Throw... Where's my outlet? Where's... where's my... Outlet! I need you to... Why you... Okay. Weird. 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 Can I pick up this little... I want to pick up the wire. Let me pick up the wire! Oh, don't do this to me. I'm not sure what has happened here, but for some reason, the, the wire has decided it doesn't want to be picked up. All right, I guess instead of that, I will just go and throw my fridge down. We'll go back, craft ourselves another wire and see if we can fix this issue. I don't understand what is happening. All right, so I just went and done another trip, picked up some more stuff, but I'm really having a little bit of confusion here. Because for some weird reason that I am having a little bit of trouble working out, um, it's not actually letting me... I don't know, this generator here just ain't working properly. For some reason we've got a big wire here that, that doesn't want to connect to the thing, which is uh, trouble in itself. Um, I don't know if I point it in another direction. Maybe that'll help. Maybe if I point it like this. Problem is, I still, I still, I, I still, I gotta craft myself a wire and I gotta do that in here. So we're gonna need some fuel to do that. Do you have the fuel on you? You got some fuel on you. Um, I think I, wait, hold on. I picked up metal as well. Who's got the metal then? I picked up metal. Oh man. Oh, I already put it in here. Never mind. Um, okay. So I need myself. Start with an S plus and see what happens. Okay. We'll see how this goes. So, this here. Place there? Yeah. So now we got two of them for some reason. It would not let me attach this thing though. Why not? It doesn't make any sense. It makes... And then I can't even pick up that wire now. So now we just got wire sticking out everywhere. What if I just get a regular one? What if we just do that? What if I get just a horizontal one? What if... What else? What, what else? What else? Why can I attach that? I can't attach it to that one, because that one there apparently doesn't exist. And my outlet box... Why won't you work? This thing doesn't want to attach to anything! I hope I'm not just having a mental blank or something. Um... You know, it's possible. It's possible there's just something very obvious in front of my eyes that I'm missing, but... I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. These ones here work. For some reason, I can't place horizontal at the top part. Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's normal. That's normal, I think. What if I just get myself a regular outlet box? I don't have the electronics to do that. Of course I don't. What if we make this extra high? Oh, that one wants to work. Why? What is the difference? It's exactly the same. It is exactly the same. Turn you on. Everything's powered now. Fantastic. I don't know what I was doing different. I don't know what I was doing different. I don't know why the game is trying to make things difficult for me. 
But it is. But it is. Great. Great. I also brought a custom bread bed with me. Oh, I can drop this thing now. I don't need that. Um, I brought a plate. Blah, blah, blah. Brought across the S plus converter. Um, Aries, come across with me, buddy. Come across. Come across. We got some stuff to dump over here on the table over here. Um, I think I'm just going to place my S plus converter right here. Next to the other existing tables. It's not really something that gets used very often anyway. Um, and you, my friend, have a lot of resources on you that we need to just get rid of. So hand them across to me and we'll go and throw them across as well nice fantastic now where should my where should my little sleeping quarters be i guess i'm just gonna go throw bed over here we only really need one for now um and the other very very important thing that we need is our gravestone but i'm pretty sure i didn't bring across any um cementing paste did i about 90% sure I got no cementing paste over here. So we're going to have to go ahead and get that as well. Uh, then we can get ourselves our gravestone over here. And then when we want to respawn over here, we can do it. So, yay. But I think for now, I think our next trip is going to be the important one. This is the one. Well, this is the one that can go horribly, horribly wrong. We are going to go and get all of our dinosaurs. It's time for a dinosaur convoy. I'm just going to scout the route really quickly. Looks like we've got a couple of ravages and raptors. Thing is, I've got, I've got, I've got a couple of ravages of my own. So I don't think this is going to be a big issue getting through here. Um, I think, I think our squad is going to be able to do it. But I'm thinking we just bring them all across in one hit. I think we've got the full convoy in effect. The full 18, the full A squad with the ravages and everything. I think, I think, I think we should be fine. Not to mention we've got like four or five rock drakes here that is going to... And a basilisk that is just going to demolish everything in their path. Um, but there's a little bit more to that. Well, if we're going to bring everybody across, we may as well use them to carry a little bit of weight. So these little fellas over here. This is my little A-team out here. Let's go and get all of them. A little ravager party. These guys here are really good. You know what? Dipstick, you stay where you are, buddy. You're going to have to be over there in a second. These guys are very good at bearing weight. So it only makes sense for me to bring them over to the base. Sit tight, my little guys. Charlie Jr., you are up first, my dude. I'm pretty sure you can fit inside my base. Yes, you can. All right. Well, we got to transfer some uh, resources to him. So let's just get as much of this as we can. As much as I could possibly carry. And I need you to carry it for me, basically. You all right with that? How heavy are you? Let's get that melee damage up a little bit. He's currently holding 610 weight. Good boy. You know what? Oh, you can't move when I'm riding him. We can very slowly. Let's get you out of here, buddy. Who else can I take in? Let's get this one right here. Actually, yeah, he's still pretty slow, isn't he? He's still very slow. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. We got to get this stuff across, so we're going to do it this way. What else can I bring? We got a lot of gas on this guy. In fact, it's mainly just all gas. This stuff, you know what? We can probably get this done all in one hit. All right, how much of this can you carry, buddy? I got a good feeling. 710 kilos this guy can carry. It'll update in a second. And just like that, we have emptied out our chest. Oh, look, you can carry more. You can carry more. Well, you're going to do exactly that then, my friend. Yes, you are. How about in here? What do we got in here? Okay, we got a lot of crystal and stuff. All right, you know what? For now, let's get you out of here. Um, but we have a bunch more stuff, including 577 metal. How much does that weigh on you? I'm kind of concerned. Oh, it's this full thing. All right, you can't carry all of that. Can you carry like three quarters of it though? Why am I upgrading weight? Okay, I didn't want to do that. Oh, that's such a waste. <laughs> that's such a waste. <laughs> Give me that saddle. All right, you're my metal guy. I think I'm going to keep all of the weight on my rabbit. You know what? I don't know why I'm just not loading up my my rock drakes, to be honest. Those guys are probably a little bit more equipped for this sort of stuff. I'm going to pull this wall down. I tell you what, I'm going to load these guys up and I'll be back when the convoy is ready. All right, guys. So we've still got a little bit of resources here. Um, I'll come back for these another time. There's some crystal and red gems and stuff. We still got a little bit of building stuff. A lot of stuff that probably would have come in very handy with our base building, but we can use it on the outer wall instead. Or if we uh, ever expand our actual base. 
Um, but apart from that, we pretty much have everything we're going to need. I went and crafted us a personal grave as well. Um, I guess right now it is time. Let's go and get everybody. It's happening. We're going on an adventure. Not much of an adventure. We're just going to the new base. This is going to be interesting. I don't really know how this is going to go. Um, this could go really badly. This could go very, very badly. But you know what? It's worth the risk. It's going to be fun. It's going to be weird. It's going to be wacky. Let's just get everybody we got to follow us. Ares, let me out of here, buddy. You're going to be my little companion guy. Okay? All right. Sit at a distance. Let's go. We're bringing everybody. Basilisk, you're coming with me too. Everybody else. Jay, let's just whistle everybody over. Everybody is coming to the new base. The convoy is packed. The convoy is ready. Let's go. I think we have everybody. I think that's it. I should probably check just in case, to be honest, but... Oh, we still got a few guys trapped in here. Oh, we can't leave anybody behind. No man left behind. All right, they're all following Ares. Good. All right, look, come on, little guys. Come on, guys. You too, little Glato. All right. Anyone else inside the house? I think we've I think we've got everybody out. Let's go. Um, great. Everybody's kind of cornered me in here now. Don't worry. You don't have to jump up here, everybody. We're going. We're going. We're going. I think that's everybody. We just got to collect dipstick along the way. And oh my god, this is a design. This is a mess. We're gonna leave someone behind. I feel like it's inevitable. Like, oh, this, this. I'll be very surprised if not a single one of our dinosaurs die on this adventure. No one should die, but I'd be very surprised if everything goes according to plan. I'll be shocked. Our Dodecurus's band is so darn slow. They are so darn slow. Even my little bulb dogs and stuff, they're just lagging behind. Hey, this tribe is only as strong as its weakest link. And these links better toughen up, otherwise we're going to be in a lot of trouble. In fact, you know what? Wait there, everybody. Wait there. There's a new pack of ravages in town. I gotta, they need some dealing with. They need to be told who's boss. They need to be shown who's in charge around here. Hey, boys. Just because I'm moving bases doesn't mean you guys can move in. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why did my dinosaur need to come and help? You didn't need to come and help, everybody. You don't need to come and help. You know what? Maybe everybody follows me instead. Maybe everybody follows me instead. Come on, guys. Let's go. I'm running by foot, and we can take on any ravages by hand. Oh, my God. Ain't nobody want to mess with this. <laughs> oh, snap. This is horrible. There's no way of me even, like, being able to see if we've got everybody. But, hey, we're here for the long run. Well, not that we're here for the long run, but there's no rush. There's no rush. Oh, boy. Not gonna lie, I feel pretty powerful right now. <laughs> I feel pretty strong right now with all of these guys in tow. We got crabs, we got drakes, we got diplos, we got basilisks, we got everything following us around at the moment. I feel bad for anybody who stands in our way, to be honest. Like this Kano. Hey, Kano. Hey, Mr. Kano. I'll let you have the first hit. <laughs> oh, it's just too good. As far as I'm aware, everybody's still chasing. We might have left a couple bulb dogs behind. Those guys are kind of slow sometimes, but hopefully, hopefully everybody's back there somewhere. I think this, I think this is the first time I've ever done anything like this before. This is very, it's a very new experience. I don't think I uh, usually leave the base with more than one dinosaur, let alone 30 of them. 30 of them. I don't think I've ever traveled with this many dinosaurs in tail before. But you know what? So far, so good. So far, no deaths. No deaths. Zero deaths. Um, we don't have much further to go. So hopefully that's a good sign. I can see our gate. So we're close. We're getting close. The question is, how many did we lose along the way? It's gonna be more than zero, I think. Hey, and the Paris have just left our base as well. Nice, nice. That's perfect. I wanted this guy gone and hey, he took care of it himself. But here we are. We have arrived in one piece. No deaths. No men left behind. Welcome to your new base, everybody. Single file. One at a time, guys. One at a time. Come on. Come on. Come on. One at a time. One at a time. I think I've got to hold this door open. Um, 
Uh, switch to manual. There we go. All right, everybody in. Everybody in. Single file. One at a time. No rush. The base ain't going nowhere. I got to get rid of some of these bushes, I think. But here we go. All right. Everybody, stay. Okay. Nice. And look at this. The Tenekiris has made it as well. Yes. All right. You know what? If they made it, I think everybody's here. Bait dog's here. I think we're good. Okay, everybody. I know a couple of you guys don't respond to group calls. That's okay. But I think... I think we've got everybody. Let me just grab... Can I grab Ares out of there real quick? Ares, can I get you out of there, buddy? I just want to take him for a little quick gloss over just to make sure. You know what? Ares. Come on. Ah, oh, can't even reach him. You know what? How about you, Poseidon? I haven't, I haven't taken you for a ride. This isn't Poseidon. I think this is... Mm, this is Spyro. All right, Spyro. Let's have a quick little double back, double check. Make sure we haven't left any men behind. I wouldn't be a very good a tribe leader if we left any dinosaurs behind. So we're keeping an eye out for that name. Keeping an eye out for any... Gru! Hey, buddy. Oh! Elystrosaurus! Oh, it looks like he's still running there. We left one little guy behind. I think that's it. I think he's the only one. Man, those guys are slow. Hold on, there's a Kano down here. It's not our Kano. I think we're good. I think that's literally it. That's the only guy we left behind. And Lachlan, of course. We left Lachlan behind as well, but... Is that my problem? Is that my fault? I'll give myself... I'll give myself... I'll let myself off lightly on that one. Here he is. He's still going. I think he's gonna run all the way. I mean, it looks like he's going to. It's a shame we can't pick these guys up. Ah, uh, look at silly little slow bro here. I told you to stop following me, didn't I? So he follows me out, out of the base. He, he runs out of the base to meet me out here. Maybe he's just, maybe he's just happy that I'm, I'm back home. Maybe he's just welcoming me back to the new base. I'm not sure. But these guys here have nearly made it. They're so darn close to entering the gates of Valhalla. Now the gates of the base number two. Doesn't really have a cool name. But I'm fairly certain that's everybody. I think everybody has made it. I think we are officially... I'm saying officially moved into our new base. I think that's it. I think we're here. I think we're, I think, I think, I think that's done. I think all, all is said and done. We're going to place it down our gravestone. Bam. There it is. Right next to our bed. What more fitting place for a gravestone than next to your bed. It's kind of like your little bedside table. It's got everything that you need inside of it. So it comes in handy. Um, hey, buddy, you don't even know what you're getting yourself into right now. You know that? You don't even know what you're going to get yourself into. You're in trouble, mate. You're in trouble. You're about to get swarmed. But none of my guys are helping me. What's going on? What's going on, boys? Nobody wants to come and help me. You can sit down. You got to sit tight. I don't know where my little Listro is, but I'm pretty sure he made it in. What are you doing, Tracky? This is, you're not allowed inside. You're not allowed inside. I think all we really have left to do is um, get us some water up here. So we're going to have to... <laughs> run a massive pipe from the river down outside the base all the way up here so we got some access to clean healthy drinkable water um and then we're gonna get ourselves our industrial forge so on that note we're ending this one right here the convoy has arrived it is over thanks so much for watching this one guys if you did enjoy the episode make sure to go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next one very very soon bye for now